everyone. Great to see you back at Silver Tears Tarot and a warm welcome, of course, to those of you who are new. So when we checked in on October earlier this month, we had interesting things that came out. You know, we had a situation where maybe somebody was kind of just going along with it, even if they didn't um, didn't feel like it was quite right. Um, there was a sense of nervousness and maybe even like a cycle that was putting you in a funny place mentally. So that was that's just part of it. It might be helpful to go back um, and watch that one, especially if you hadn't had the chance. I was just kind of thinking through um, some of the feelings that came from, you know, that came through in that reading. Um, you know, so that was that was also at the beginning of the month. An awful lot has happened since then. Um, seems like we need to hit refresh on that energy. See what else is coming out for the back half of October. So, as usual, it's going to be a general reading. Um, it's for all signs. The readings are also timeless, so you'll be more drawn to readings at the right time for you to see them. Um, but please do like, share, subscribe if you do like it. Um, and if it resonates, um, and I know these readings won't resonate with everyone, you know, they're collective readings, but we have, um, an awesome little collective energy that's been evolving here. So if you like it, you may want to look back on some previous readings also. Okay. So let's see what's in store for us for the second half of October. And so I'm going to be reading for you. Um, from the Healing Light Tarot, and then I will clarify with the Tarot of the Spirit. And the first thing that I want to ask is the same thing that I asked when I did the early, the early part of the month reading, and that was, what's the big idea here? What's really, um, what is this reading about? The big idea around the reading. What is it? Oh, we have something already. Well, we have... Uh, something that doesn't feel like a choice, but it does specifically feel like it is related to love. So it feels like somebody is not experiencing a choice that they maybe would have expected to experience. We'll learn more about that um, when we go to clarify. So then the next thing um, that we want to look at here is going to be sort of the setting. So this is going to tell us a little bit more about that backdrop. We have one come out pretty much right away. The Queen of Pentacles. That is a really reassuring energy. Um, so if you have a choice in love or a situation where maybe you don't feel like you have a choice, at least to have the backdrop of this sort of reassuring energy of the Queen of Pentacles, I would say, is a really positive thing. Um, it, it all depends on context, but the Queen of Pentacles is, is very nurturing, stable, um, feels like home sort of energy. So if that's your backdrop, then it may make a situation like this very different than if you had, say, you know, temperance in reverse or something like that. So this is going to be important for us here. Um, but now we want to look at messages. Just what's the, what is the thing that is, I guess, sticking out the most about the situation that we're going to, we got one turned over in the deck, but it is not the one we want. All right, but we want to look at, again, what is the thing that's sticking out the most in this situation What th that we're looking at with the no choice um, in love? And we've got the Ace of Swords, so it signifies, we're just going to take that top one, it signifies sort of a, oh, it's a, it's a lack of truth, it's an untruth, somebody is not leading with the truth. It's definitely, there's something about this. The thing that sticks out the most is something that is not true. And remember, this is about a situation that there is not a choice about. Um, but there's still this backdrop of reassuring sort of energy. Um, let's dig in a little bit deeper. Just kind of see clarity. It's not really clarity, but what else can you tell me? Um, what else is sticking out about this situation? And we've got a card that has come out, and I generally just take the top one um, if I have a few of them turn over. And so we have the Nine of Wands in reverse, and that's that feeling of not 
feeling like they a person can continue along with something. So it's that sense of wanting to give up or feeling like they they don't want to continue doing this. That's an interesting one. Let's see what else what is what else is playing into this? So it doesn't necessarily have to be crossing energy. It could just be what else is what is heavily influencing this situation, other energy that is heavily influencing this situation. And remember, this is like the backdrop. So this is sort of a corollary question to that. And we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. And so if the Knight of Swords is about a swift, decisive forward action, the Knight of Swords in reverse is it's it's giving us that sense of waffly, not decisive action, but it's also giving us the sense of somebody watching someone else relatively closely, but not telling them. So it's it's what you would call that spying energy, but it's it's um it's got an interesting energy to it. We'll see what happens when we clarify there, because it's almost like they don't feel like they have a choice. Um and, and maybe I know that just keeps coming out here, but I feel like we need a clarity on what there is no choice about. Let's see what is likely to happen next in this situation. And remember, this is our taking a look at the month of October, and we've only got half the month left. We've had half a month come through already. A lot of things have changed. We saw some interesting things coming energy that was coming across the course of the month, but some of it was a little bit tense. And so we get to check in now and see how things are working out with that. So we have the high priestess and that's in our coming energy, our next step. So that is a, it's a heavy intuition card. And there is, that's, that's really not surprising, I guess, when I think about it. So this is Still that time of we have just crossed through the 1010 portal. There has been um, just a lot of that energy of the veil between the two. If you listen to the meditation video that I did a couple uh, readings ago, then you'll hear I talk about the veil between, you know, yourself and your higher self, uh, your yourself and your spirit guides getting a little bit thinner here. And, and that's what we've been experiencing. So it's not surprising to me that somebody might even be going into themselves as a result of feeling that. But I don't know if that's what that is. I get the sense that there is some connection to intuition, but I don't know what that's going to be until I clarify. So let's go ahead and clarify. And this is with the Tarot of the Spirit. We're going to clarify that lovers in reverse first thing and just kind of understand. And we're just going to take here the top card. Um, same, same thing there. So we have, and let me show you the card that came out. So we have the seven of water that has come out and that's like the seven of cups in reverse. Um, this is a, this is a weird seven of water energy card, um, because it's almost backwards for me that we compared with most other decks. And so it, and when it's in reverse like this, this is when it just feels like, um, it's just confusion. It's, not being able to make a choice. It's not having the information to make a choice, maybe. But we also see that there's a choice here that somebody doesn't feel like they have much of a choice in. Um, something is, somebody's not being given a choice. Something, it, maybe it seems like there is a choice, but it's really only one thing that you can do. There's also a sense of someone controlling the situation strongly. So it's controlling the situation strongly and there is this feeling and I don't know if it's by the same person that's trying to control the situation, um, but there's a feeling of casting doubt or confusion, an air of confusion about the situation. So I would watch for that. Let's take a closer look now at this Queen of Pentacles. And remember, this is that reassuring background energy. I almost feel like whoever it is that's trying to control this um, almost doesn't quite realize the depth of what they're up against. Let's see um, what this Queen of Pentacles energy is about. This is like somebody who's who's like a rock. They've had some learnings. This is not their first rodeo in some way. We have both of our cards. Here's this one. And here's this one. 
Okay. So when we look at these together, we have the Queen of Pentacles flanked by the Four of Fire, which is like the Four of Wands in reverse. And then we have the Two of Wind, which is like the Two of Swords in the upright. Now, the Two of Swords talks about a choice, which there is so much choice happening in this reading already that it just seems like we know. So we know the main idea of the reading is that of choice. It's not surprising to me that we would see this one, but this is a person who has to make a choice and it seems like it's it's you or this person who is presenting with this Queen of Pentacles energy. So if you are the person who is um, kind of feeling like they've been down this road before they there is a choice involved that you may not be the only one making a choice I don't necessarily get that sense there's an unstable element to it here with the um, four of fire in reverse so that's something to consider and maybe that has to do with why it's such a difficult choice to make because remember at the beginning of the month we saw a situation that it was also, it, it also had some of these, it had a little bit of the similarities to this energy, but it could be, it feels like it's kind of interwoven with this. There was a situation where somebody didn't feel like they, um, they were going to continue doing something, even though maybe they didn't quite approve of it. It was a situation that didn't quite pass judgment, but they were going to let it pass anyway, because it was the right thing to do. It may be um, that they perceive themselves not having much of a choice there because there's too much control, uh, something. Too much is being controlled here. And there's too much of a shadow of doubt and uncertainty being cast across the situation. But this person who's going through this, it's kind of like it's... Um, I, Well, we saw that there was a cycle in there too. And I'm thinking this feels like this person has been through the cycle. It's an unstable cycle. It's an unsteady cycle. They know that the decision is theirs to make a, a, um, an end to this, you know. And then what is this? Okay, let's take a look at this Ace of Swords then. And remember, this Ace of Swords is about something that isn't true. So something is, I get the sense, built on a foundation of untruth and it's like this person sees it and realizes it's their job to do something about it so you have the hanged man new perspective new perspective and i okay so i just set this one down and didn't take it but this is an honorable mention card and it was kind of screaming hey look at me it's not it doesn't want to be the other card on the other side but it does kind of want that honorable mention and so this is the mother of earth and it's the same energy as this Queen of Pentacles right here. So it's it's that same earth energy. It's that same stability. Um, feelings of just, I when I saw that, I was like, this is very reassuring about this situation. I get that there's no choice here and somebody's in maybe a tight place. But this is the reassuring part of this. This person in that situation is very different from, like I said, the... Um, the temperance card in reverse, that lack of balance and not being able to get things balanced sort of energy up against a situation where you feel like you don't have a choice. Let's take a look at this other Ace of Swords um, clarifier here. So remember, there's something that's not true and there's a new perspective on that. Maybe um, it doesn't, I don't feel like that's it. I was going to say maybe this person has just discovered, maybe you've just discovered um, that there is something untrue here, but I think you've known. I feel like you've known, but it's just not. You now have a new perspective on this thing that isn't true, how you feel about it, maybe how you intend to handle it. And then we have the Ten of Earth. Um, and down here it says the great work. And really what it is, it's like it's like the dream, the, the, the thing that you're trying to accomplish. So the, so the Ten of Earth is... I usually say it's like that household that has everything, you know, it has the, the happiness, the resources that are needed for everybody. It's lots of love, happiness. It's just a really fantastic place to be. It's, it's that thing that everyone is searching for and striving for. And it is the thing that is not happening in this situation because there is something being perpetuated here that is not true. And now 
I think it is you that has a different perspective on it because I'm reading for a collective. So it's not always going to be sometimes it's the person that's your person that could stumble across this video and feel drawn to the energy because it's their energy too. And so if they see it, they might say, hey, this this energy feels like it's backwards to me. Um, or And that's entirely possible. It, you could be that person and that would be fine. So just be aware. It feels like it's flip-flopped and you'll you'll hear that in other readings as well. That's that's why, because I'm pulling on the energy of what's happening around you, but whatever you've got strongly in your energy, whether it's a person or it would, it would have to be for them to be listening in, but um, or a situation, you know, you're pulling in the energy of that. So that's part of why you see that. So let's clarify this nine of wands in reverse. And remember, that was that feeling of needing to give up or giving up. And this is thinking about the path six of water. So that water energy, that nostalgia energy. Yeah, OK. Thinking about the past is really weighing on someone. Could be weighing on more than one could be weighing on like if it's you and somebody else it could be uh that both of you are but if more than one falls i don't pick it up it could be that more than one of you or both of you are are having that sort of nostalgia energy and that feeling of reaching close to a a breaking point because i don't get the sense that this nine of wands is about having reached a breaking point i feel like it's imminent or in the future Oh, here's that mother of earth again. That's why she didn't want to come out up here because she knew she was needed down here. So let's take a look. Okay. Wow. All right. This is, this is complex, but it's, it all makes sense. Okay. So you have a person who is wanting to stop carrying a difficult load. Like the nine of wands upright is that I'm still standing card. I'm still standing. It's the wounded warrior. Often the warrior has experienced like a psychic wound of some kind. And so at this point, when it's in the reverse, one of the ways that this can reflect is that you no longer want to stand. It's time to lay things down. Sometimes you get a little bit farther. You get all the way to the ten of ones and it's a burden that you have to lay down. But here's a person wanting to stop before they get to this point and they're breaking because of the nostalgia and the feelings about the past. But it's the feelings about this nurturing and this. OK, so this ties in in a couple of places. We've got this nurturing energy in the backdrop of this that I think is predominantly coming from the the person that I am probably reading for. So probably most of you um, in that collective have this queen of pentacles sort of energy recognize that there's something that's unstable and that has to change, but you're, the, you're kind of the one that has to make the call and has to make the decision here. And so, but one of the things that makes it so difficult and why it feels like it's not much of a choice, um, is this energy. It's that energy of wanting to fall down. It's that, um, that, I just remember how great things were and I just want to be that nurturing and loving motherly. It doesn't have to be mother, like specifically motherly, but um, it's very nurturing energy. And it's that, it's that feeling of feeling safe. And it is, it's tying the person to the situation here. Let's take a look at the Knight of Swords. And remember, there was a spying energy to that, but also sort of a stagnant energy. Yeah. Somebody's building their self-trust. But it's not it's not an easy thing to do. So remember when I said that this person almost felt like they didn't have a choice? This all oh, this choice again. Felt like they didn't have a choice about watching you. Um, and I think part of it has to do with the, the process that they're going through. So as we know, everyone is on their own journey. So if you're on a journey and it has intersected strongly with another person, let's say, whether it is someone that's in your family, it is a potential, potentially romantic partner, you know, 
if you are intersecting with someone on a journey right now, um, there could be some tensions here, but that person is going through kind of their own things. But this is to a certain degree going to be reflecting in you as well. So pay attention to the things that you're looking at that you feel like you can't really stop looking at or um, that, you know, know that somebody may be doing the same thing with you here because it's that energy, but it doesn't necessarily specify how it is directed. There is an effort to build self-trust here. And it is strongly being impacted by something that is exuding an awful lot of control over the situation. Awful lot of control over the situation. So this is something that you, we need to get an advice card. And for maybe the first time ever, I do this sort of thing if I'm reading for people individually, but I don't usually do it in my online readings. I want to get an advice card. I've got the Marvel oracle deck so if you're into marvel this is kind of a cool deck i want to use this um specifically to ask about this part of the situation here we have a knight of swords type of situation someone is feeling like they're very connected and can't stop observing or watching or is is being controlled by the energy of something and and is trying to build their own self-trust what do they need what do they need to do? Whether it's you, somebody impacting you. What is? What do you need? What does this person need? What is going to benefit the person that's going through this struggle? Because that's really what it is. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. So we have Howard the Duck. It says, you're not from around here, are you? Oh, well, and so the implication here is that, that if this is not an uncommon problem to have. Let's get another one. That was interestingly unexpected. I've never gotten Howard the Duck from this deck before. It's one of those times you remember that Howard the Duck is Marvel. Anyway, so we've got two that came out here. We have the Black Panther that says, Wear the Crown with Honor. And that's about being present in your situation. And then we also have the night crawler. In my eyes, I am beautiful. And again, it's about, it's really kind of the same thing. So this is, all right, I'm going to break this down into kind of something a little bit broader to make it make more sense. Because this is all very confusing right here. The deal is somebody, you, you, you will also be doing this to some degree, even though there may be somebody else going through it to a greater extent, was going through a situation where um, having trouble letting go of something, having trouble like not stalking it on social media, having trouble not thinking about it. I'm not saying like you're flying drones over their house. I'm just saying maybe it's it's just hard to, to, to disconnect. And it's really, uh, it's got a controlling sort of feeling to it. You're looking to build your own self-trust. Just recognize this is an incredibly common occurrence. Lots of people... Um, sort of go through this energy and to this, the answer to this is going to be embedded in that self-trust. It's also going to be embedded in that queen of pentacles energy, not just nurturing others, but also nurturing yourself and, and owning it. These two cards are really about owning it. This is interesting because what we wanted to know when we asked this question initially, when we first got that knight of swords was what is happening? What's kind of the impacting energy that's in this situation? So not necessarily what's crossing you, but what's going on here, you know, and what's in that background. And we already had this underlying energy of the Queen of Pentacles, but we also have this. This is like the, the thorn in, in the side, you know, something that's creating a problem and slowing things down. So it ends up being really, it does end up being what's crossing you, but it's also why this decision is so difficult why this feels like it's not even a decision you get to make. Here's that control again. We know that something about this is casting some sense of doubt or shadow across this. We also know there's a lot of looking back into the past. And remember the, the video that we saw at the beginning of the month, there was a situation where it felt like you couldn't re reasonably change it. And it still does feel like that. It still does feel like there's not really a viable choice there. Let's look at this high priestess, because remember, this was about what's coming up next. So things are changing. The Wheel of Fortune tells us that things are changing. And 
It's what's coming up in the, the very next. So it's kind of that, that we know that it's near term because we're looking at the next couple of weeks here in October. You know, and these readings are timeless. So if you find this sometime that it's not the middle of October, um, it's still going to be near term energy. And really, that's the way I ask the question. Um, okay, so we <laughs> we have the seven of Earth in reverse. And so, okay, I, I can't remember if this was in the reading that we had earlier in the month or not, but the feeling was. So we have as our next step that you're going to be moving toward intuition. And remember, it's kind of, it connects very strongly with this card. So the Ace of Swords in the reverse was that sort of, place that wasn't quite true something isn't quite right there's a new perspective that maybe you have on that and you recognize now what this is what's holding you back from that happy experience that happy house experience happy home experience um so here's the here's this goes kind of along with it as the understanding more what's what's true and what's not true also being able to look into that intuition and be able to use it as the energies around you are changing so the energies around you are going to be changing. You're going to be in tune with it. Um, but you're going to recognize that something is like a bottomless pit. There's something here that when you put into it, it doesn't ever seem to have received everything that you've put in. Like it's a bottomless pit. It's a hole in its bucket and it just all leaks out or something because you can fill it with love and it always just kind of needs more, you know, and that that feels like the sort of situation that's happening here. So let's get another advice card because I this one, we're not going to do an extended on this one. I just want to kind of understand. Um, and I don't know if we always want to go check in at the middle of the month, but if we have as much change and shifting as we did at the beginning of this month, um, the first half of this month, I think we really probably ought to do that. Um, but I do want to get you another advice card to just sort of understand what to do from here. What is your best bet as you're looking at this? You know, intuition is coming. You're probably, if this is your reading, you already have a feel for what it is that doesn't ring quite true. Why this discussion or why this decision is a kind of a difficult one, right? And then let's just see what, what do you need to recognize as you're going through this? What is that overarching advice? Oh, let's see here. And we have it's the winter soldier forever by your side. Okay. So one of the things that comes out when I think of the high priestess card is about the, the higher self. And so when you are connected to your higher self, anything seems possible. You're never, ever alone. And this is always true, but you can't always, some people have not had that experience where they can feel the rest of themselves. So I, I liken us to uh, each of us being an iceberg. And the part that you're very consciously aware of is that part that's over the, above the water, you know, and then there's this rest of this iceberg that's down there. And that's, um, that's the rest of you. And so when you go into a deep meditation, you can experience and, and connect with your own higher self. And that is exactly what comes out when I see these two, um, I feel like these two are connected in this sense because the high priestess gives us that that idea that it will be very much intuition and that is how you connect with your higher self, um, which is that thing that makes you feel like you're never quite alone. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. This is kind of an interesting check-in. So we see that some things have changed. Some things have not quite changed. Certainly everything is not yet resolved. We know that um, there's a decision here that's not really much of a choice after all. There's a lot of lack of clarity around it, but it's it's like there's somebody that's trying to control the situation that's maybe even making it less clear. Um, then we've got this backdrop of everything you have learned. That's what it feels like to me. So even in a situation of less stability and knowing that there's kind of this difficult choice to make that doesn't feel like it's much of a choice at all. It, there's still a nice foundation here for you to be building on. Um, you are aware, have a new a perspective around something that you don't feel is true. Maybe it's something that you haven't felt was true for a while. You know, it's standing in between you and your happiness. 
but it's really easy to just like what we saw at the beginning of the month was here it is a situation where you're going to allow something to continue to not pass judgment. And this is telling us a little bit about why that's why that is happening. Um, and it's about that not thinking about how nice things were and the nostalgia and not wanting to change certain things. Um, there's also in the mix this difficult sense of something that is a little bit controlling and and creating a a a kernel of difficulty and it's just it's it's creating control and it's it's got some control over you but like i said it's a, it's like social media that you can't stop stalking or something like that it's got that feel to it it might not be that it just kind of feels like that but it's all around you trying to establish self trust and then seeing in yourself but I can't stop doing this. And there's this thing that still controls me. And what you need to recognize is lots of people go through this. Um, own it. Own the journey. Own the whole thing. You've got some intuition coming for you. Energy around you is definitely changing. You're going to have challenges around something that it seems like you're, what you're putting in is never enough. Um, and to, I would say, rely upon that 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 inner light, you know, rely upon that higher self to help you realize that you're never alone and to help find answers to some of your questions and problems. So I'll wrap it up right here. Um, if this did resonate with you, please do like, share, subscribe, and that way we can stick together. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time and, and I'm so glad that you found this channel. I guess uh, best of luck to you as you address this, and I will see you again in another reading.